David and his mission is to, is to be able to spread his glory of, that the glory of God may fill the waters as the, as the waters cover the sea. May, may fill the earth as the waters cover the sea. So here is God wanting to show his glory across all the earth. That is his mission. To be, and he created man. The problem though, and in the end, at the end of all time, it will result in what we call the new creation. Because this creation was marred. This creation is marred by sin. Now, here, at the end of time, God will come again. Cons Jesus will come again, consummate the kingdom, and recreate. Recreate the whole world. It will be a new heavens and a new earth. But what happens in between that? Well, we know a bit of the story. So, we'll do a quick survey of the Bible, right? Okay? So, this is Genesis 1, Adam and Eve. Genesis 2, Genesis 3, they sin. And after that, as early as that, Jesus, uh, God would already tell them, Oh, the offspring of the woman... You know, he will crush the head of the serpent. Oh, that's amazing. Really? That was like a picture already of the gospel. Right at the beginning, at Genesis 3, when all hope is gone, God would already speak about the future. And then they would spread throughout the whole earth. Many people were evil. So in the time of Noah, Genesis 9, God would judge the earth. And then a flood would come. And then by Genesis 11, the Tower of Babel, you know, people would, uh, would spread across the whole earth. Because now there's so many languages. And then Genesis 12, God would choose a man. A man whose wife is barren. A man who has not much potential. Abraham, a Gentile. And then would call him to, to say, I will bless you. I will bless all of the families of the earth. And out of Abraham would come Isaac. And out of Isaac would come Jacob and Esau. And out of Jacob would come the 12 sons. And the 12 tribes of Israel. And then Israel would grow. Would, would spread in that land. In Canaan. But then they would, you know, they, they would go back. In, so not yet Canaan. They, yeah, Canaan eventually they went back to Egypt. And in Egypt God delivered them out of the hand of Pharaoh. Brought them uh, wilderness. 40 years. And then back into the promised land. Until finally when they're in the promised land. There are millions of people already. There's a lot of them. And then they would rebel against God. Judges would talk, tell us about the story. Of how they would rebel against God. God would send judges to be able to deliver them from the hands of their enemies. And then they would turn to God again for several decades. And then... And then God would bring them back again. And um, eventually they would go back and forth. Until finally the last judge, Samuel the prophet. After that the people asked for a king. So here you have, you have King Saul. And then King David. And then King Solomon. And then after that would be a division of the kingdom. You have the northern kingdom which is Israel. The southern kingdom which is Judah. Oh, some of you, I already lost you there. Yeah, but think about the ten tribes up north. Two tribes down south. And then you have two lines of kings. Many of the kings of Judah... Some, many of them would, would follow God, but many of them would also rebel. But all of the, king, the kings of Israel would rebel against God. So God would send prophets, which is why you have the prophets in the Old Testament. The books of the prophets. God would send prophets to be able to bring them back to God, but they would still not listen. So at the end of the day, in 722 BC, the Assyrians would overrun the northern kingdom of Israel. And in 586 BC, the Babylonians would overrun the southern kingdom of Judah. And then people would be exiled all across the earth. Then after that comes the 400 silent years. Where the word, word of God is not heard. Until. Until. One particular night. Christmas night. Jesus would be born. When Jesus was born. He gathered the people. He said. The kingdom of God is at hand. Right here. Right here. Now. I'm starting it. Okay. I'm going to start with 12 guys. All right, 12 guys. So he gathers these 12 guys, walks around with them for more than three years. Until in the end, they get disillusioned because he dies. But then he resurrects again. Yay! And because of that, he says, okay, good for you guys. Wait until I send you the gift that my father's promised. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. He gives that promise. Acts chapter 2. The Holy Spirit comes on them. And then they begin to speak different languages. The languages of the places where all of the Jews are scattered. And then after that, they would begin to spread the word around Jerusalem. And after that, Paul would go to different missionary journeys across the known world of that time. And by the end of the first century, first century, all of the New Testament has been written down. So we now have the Bible. Amazing, right? By the... By the 4th century, 300 plus, uh, Christianity would be the official religion of the Roman Empire under Emperor Constantine. But then, as the church would grow, there would be so many, so many things that would happen. By the, by, the fifth, by the 6th century, we now have the Pope, the Roman Catholic Church, establishing, as, establishing itself as the leader of all of the Christians across the whole world. But by the 11th century, there would be a schism that would separate the Western Church from the Eastern Church. And by the 16th century, Protestantism, Protestantism would be birthed. 
Martin Luther would nail his 95 Theses at the Church of Wittenberg. Around the same time, 16th century, Catholicism would come to the Philippines. By 1898, Protestantism would get to the Philippines. And we have our first Protestant service, August 20th of 1898. And then for a whole century, Protestantism would spread all across the nation. It's amazing. You go to the farthest places in Mindanao and in Visayas, you will see Protestant churches planted there. And then finally, in 1984, a group of missionaries, 60 plus college students, would come to the Philippines and start the church victory. And finally, early 2000, or so, early victory Makati would be birthed. And then from there would come victory until the kingdom has reached. That's the church right in the middle of this story. And we, as the church, 